Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Noah coming to you via the internet. Now, CM Punk appeared on the TSN Off the Record with Michael Landsberg Thursday to talk about his future with the UFC. It was about a 15-minute interview, and in that 15 minutes, it seemed like Landsberg just wanted to make a mockery of CM Punk. I mean, watch this clip. We know that your debut will happen in late 2015. Let us allow you right now to hype the fight for you. Take a look. The UFC and Phil Brooks invite you to join us for the mystery fight of the decade. Who will he face? Superstars want a piece of him. Will it be Jose Canseco? He's done MMA and he's hungry after losing a battle to a gun. Other superstar candidates include Drake, 0-1 after a tough loss to Diddy. Bieber, who's reeling from an Orlando Bloom KO and already talking trash. What would you say? Oh, with Brooks recently going vegan, you know who wants a piece of him? Hello, may I come in? I am Chef Boyardi. Chef Boyardi, Phil Brooks, will it happen? Join us for a fight you can't miss on a day we can't tell you against an opponent we don't know in a weight class to be determined. May or may not ever happen. And if that wasn't enough, Landsberg actually had the nerve to ask CM Punk if he had ever been hit in the face before. Uh, I hope you don't find this disrespectful, but have you actually taken a real punch? You're going to ask me if I've ever taken a real punch in the face? Yeah. You obviously hadn't seen some of the guys I was wrestling in the WWE. Yes, I have taken a real punch in the face. I think CM Punk handled the situation very well. In fact, this is exactly what he had to say. You, you produced an entire segment prior to me coming on, uh, making a joke of the situation. And I understand that, and I appreciate your point of view. Well, I mean, uh, making a joke of it? I, I well, I mean, what? I would. And then CM Punk actually called him out. Your demeanor off the camera is... 100% different than when it is when you know you're being recorded and you're interviewing me. It's just, it, it, it's funny to me. Okay, so, so I, I'm interested in that because I've never heard that before. How is, how, what is my... Of course you are. No, but what is my demeanor off camera that's different than how I am right now? You're, you're, you try to be friendly, you try to act like you're my friend, and then when you get me on camera... You try to act like the cool kid in school, well, and I understand that. That's cool. You, you know, asked no, me I, off camera if if we saw each other at US, UFC 182, if I was going to big league you. Big time was the term. So you want to play in? You want to play innocent and defensive when well, you're I, not on camera, and then when you get on camera, you want to you want to act like you're hot. No, I appreciate that. No, no, you don't appreciate that. I like your that. gimmick, kid. You know, but I, no, I love it. I love it. No, you don't love it, first of all. And it is disrespectful somewhat to be drinking coffee or tea while you're in the middle of an interview. I don't know if you do that all the time. But I, I, I got to stay awake on TSN. I need my caffeine. <laughs> Wait a second here. Wow. You know, I, I, I don't know. I'm offended by that. Anyway. I'm very happy with the way CM Punk handled the interview. I mean, he could have blew up on him. He could have told him off, but he didn't. You know, he kept his cool. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching this video.